Hello, I am Burning Stone of the Lotro Gamers, and I'm here with my instance walkthrough of Irebar's Peak. It is a three-man instance uh, that is obtained. It was obtained of Erebor a little bit after uh, Rohan came out, and uh, we're going to be doing it at level 85, and I'll figure out what tier in a second. But right now I need to answer my last riddle that I guys I gave you guys. It was a drum that is sounded without being touched. And when it is touched, it grows silent. What is it? The answer was a heart. And I will give you guys the next riddle at the end of the video. And uh, I will catch it up once we get started. Alright, so we're in the Irebar's Peak instance, and I'm doing it with these awesome people. And, uh, let's see here. So, the goal of this instance is a stone giant has taken, uh, the, um, the egg of an Iri of, um, Gwai here. I think, I don't know if it's Gwai here's a actual egg. But it's one of the people that are like Gwai here, the, the Wind Lord. And, uh... We are to go up this mountain and uh, recover the egg. We're doing it at Tier 2, and I am being the healer. So... Let's see here. Alright, so we just uh, started down there, and there was a camp of enemies. Yeah, just normal stuff. I'm just going to stay healing. And uh, we're going to head up this mountain here, and there's uh, another couple groups of enemies. And we actually just fought one, like right here, of uh, saber cats and all that kind of stuff. So you get to see some kind of new monsters uh, in this instance, which is really cool. And uh, let's see here for a second. Alrighty. Alright, so we're gonna head up this mountain here. Let's see here. Yeah, this is what I also, I love so much about this instance. We're going up a giant mountain, and we get to see these new enemies. And look at this, this is a stone giant. You can't actually attack him, but what he does is he picks up these rocks, and these rings will appear on the ground. That area, inside that area, will be knocked back, stunned, and damaged. So make sure you're not in the actual way of that uh, thing here. And you just have to kind of, you know, fight these guys while looking out for uh, the rocks. Let's see here what we can do. I accidentally let my guy get down here on low health. Alright, up the top here, just in case you guys, you know, just for a little bit of fun, I, I installed a uh, add-on, I think it's, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it does show how much I'm actually healing total for each battle instance, for each time I'm in combat, and for each time, uh, and it shows my healing per second. Which is always fun to look at, you know, see how good you're doing. And on top of that, uh, just to let you know, this is not uh, to be an, a guide for, like, showing you every single option, every single everything. This is just to show you the dynamics on how this works, how it generally works, and uh, also, this is not to be... This is not a video that is up for criticism, and if you do criticize uh, in the video comments, uh, the comments will be removed. And, uh, I don't know, if you guys maybe could, I mean, it would be awesome if you guys could, uh, I don't know, give a like or a helpful comment, and, uh, you know, help counteract those trolls out there. So we're just kind of slowly... You know, fighting our way up this mountain. 
my job is to make sure that they're being healed and not any damage is uh, being too much done to them. We have a captain and a champion with us here today. And, uh, let's see here. So pretty much to be a healer, I'm not sure if some of you have seen me already explain this, but to be a healer, you're just looking for um, a gap of green in your uh, in your allies' health. And if there is a gap of green in your allies' health, then uh, you really are going to want to refill that gap using your healing skills. And that's all you have to do. There's not very much to it. See, like right up here, it says I'm, I've healed a total of about 50,000, and I'm healing 800 per second. And like, if I use this skill, it bumps up to like 900, verging almost on a thousand. So I almost got to 70,000 health up there. That was that's pretty cool. Uh, if you guys need help installing add-ons, uh, let me know in the comments section if I should make a video that. Uh, shows you how to install uh, add-ons and I will I will totally do that and alright so now this is a new kind of enemy called the shadow caller and he does a ton of damage over time in an area of effect it's that dark haziness on the ground there make sure you're not standing in that like six six hundred damage per second yeah, make sure you're not standing in that, because that is not fun at all. And, uh... Kill the Shadow Colors probably the fastest first, if I were you. Uh, also, kind of off-topic, uh... Helm's Deep is coming up here pretty soon, and I actually, I, I uh, pre-ordered the base edition. Of, where are we in still... Oh... <laughs> That's why we're still in combat. I'll help stun him. I wonder why... He <laughs> That's just funny. Um, I guess we can go and kill these ads too. That always works. I wonder if they're... Oh, the Bounders Bounties. That's probably why they're going to go do this. So, yep, we're just going to fight our way up the mountain here. We actually haven't gotten to any of the bosses yet. We're coming up on them here pretty shortly. Got a lot of inventory stuff to get. Jeez. All right. Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't really go this way, you guys. There we go. There and the other guy's still running. Oh, well, he'll, he'll catch up. He'll he'll figure it out. Oh, now he noticed. Okay. Alright, so this is the way we actually go up. Are there any enemies up here? Yep. Doesn't look like there's a, a shadow caller on this one. Now, we're running this tier 2 level 85. This is a three-man, so make sure you have three people. You want an even balance of classes. Go 
gone ahead and used my really big heal. Oh, jeez, those brawlers do a ton of damage. That one just hit me for thousand something ten. All right. So yeah, about uh, Helm's Deep. Helm's Deep is coming up this. Uh, I think it's November. I know it's November. I just can't remember the exact date. But uh, I mean, it's it's gonna be awesome. I mean, I've looked at some of the stuff that they've been talking about and all that kind of stuff. Here's another stone giant. And, you know what, let me eat some food here just for a second. Or, I guess it was interrupted, oh well. Yep, so now we got a Shadow Caller and a Mountain Giant. So we need to make sure our stand out of either one of those uh, things there. Uh, with Helm's Deep, they're releasing the uh, western half of Rohan, which does include... Uh, Helm's Deep, and the, uh, the big giant battle in the movies we've all been waiting for, and all that kind of stuff, which I think is just gonna be ridiculously awesome. Uh, if I can give a couple, uh, suggestions on how to prepare yourself for the, uh, uh, the coming of the new expansion... I would uh, check your developer diaries for your class that they have released all the way up to the warden. So all of them are released, and it, it'll, that tells you what they're changing, what they're coming out with in the next update. You're going to want to do this to make sure that things aren't going to be too much of a surprise to you because they do, you know, add new skills, do all of, you know, add different, you know, dynamics into the system, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you're not completely clueless uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, knowing your class and what they're changing about it. Alright, there goes the Shadow Caller. Yeah, we want critical chance. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're coming up on the first boss here in just a second. All right, the first gate is opened. So now we're going to head up this way. Care to test why health entrusts the dower hand as allies? Come with me, you will witness our cunning and strength. I think we're in the Misty Mountains right now. Oh, so there's three mountain giants, and they're playing a game of catch with these giant boulders. So let's, uh... See here, so this is the main boss. We have to kill him, but I think we also have to look out for these, uh... These, uh... Stone giants to see what... And make sure we don't get hit by them too much. So now that we're starred the boss, we're just gonna... Slowly DPS him down. Make sure we're looking out for all of this. And darn it, now I need to change my affinity again. Yeah, they changed that in the last update. Uh, 
they changed it to where affinity cha your affinity d isn't depended on what kind of rune stone you're carrying. It depends depends on what skill you last used. So there's. Oh boy. Let's make sure he doesn't die. Let's put my giant bubble on everybody. Alright, and adds do spawn, so be careful of that. Don't know why I have a giant, like, bubble over my head, but I think it's a poison, so I just took a poison potion. Let's make sure this guy doesn't die. Yeah, let's use something I just got today, actually. Just used a health potion. To make sure I don't die. Let's heal me for a second. I don't know why these guys are coming after me. Let's try not to die here too much. Goofin's only... Okay, yeah, he's close to dying. Man, I really hope. Okay, I think we're good when it comes to heals. Should be fine. Cursed Giants, this is your fault. Remember, uh, watch for what he says during the combat. Because, you know, sometimes he'll say, you know, like, don't stand still, giants. Run about if you w don't wish to lose. And these giants will actually run about and uh, knock uh, people away like so. So yeah, be careful of that. Um, oh gosh. Oh boy. Stay alive, you guys. You can do it, 19, 16. Eleven. Come on, do major damage. Two thousand. One thousand. Alright. And just take out the shadow collar and the brute. Oh no. Oh good. At least he was able to heal himself. Looks like they should be able to do this. Knowing how much damage they usually do, I think we'll be okay. Good thing I'm not the only one who can revive, because I would have to run all the way back. All right, so I'll revive. Let's heal the rest of our people. Back up to full. I had healed a total of 2,000... 250,000k health. That was awesome. Let's give myself some extra power. Use this skill for a heal. Alright. I think we are good. We're waiting for this one guy, and I will catch up the video when he comes back. Alright, so now that we're 
ready to do that. We just walked from here to there, but we are now ready to do this. Alright, so the basis of this boss is, uh, he does a ton of damage. Ton, ton, ton of damage. He raises his hands and slams it down. Everything in that frontal AoE takes like 14k damage. You need to look out for that. Get behind him, get on the sides of him, do whatever you can. Then, here's what you need to do. Protect the egg, because adds will come in with bombs and they'll move straight for the egg. Protect that egg and don't let it take any damage if you're doing the challenge. If you're not doing the challenge, just don't let it die. Uh, Alright, so it looks like uh, we might be ready for this. Alright, so it looks like we're ready to do this. Gonna run in. There's the egg's health. Make sure he doesn't want to attack me. Make sure their weapons shall not harm us. Alright, so he's gonna pick up a giant rock. He does throw it at people, and I would get out of that ring even though I'm not sure what happens. Okay, he raises his hands in the air, slams down. That does 14k damage, so be very careful. Alright, so we're just going to slowly DPS him down. The egg is right there. So, make sure that I, I'm going to make sure that they're staying healed. Alright, so now here's the power, powder kegs. Alright, there's one. There's two. Alright. Now we'll uh, go back right back to DPSing and healing and tanking. That did a lot of damage. Alright, so now I'm going to make sure that he doesn't die with my giant healing skill. And alright, so they were down there just for a second, but I was able to get them back up to full health. Alright. Here's more of these, uh... Powder kegs, powder workers. Alright, looks like we got them. Powder workers are okay. And dead, and the egg is still safe. So our goal right here is to not let the egg take any damage at all. To do that, we need to get cracking on those, uh... Get it, cracking? An egg? Get it? That's a pun. Anyway, we need to make sure that we're... We stay on top of those, uh... Guys. Now he's got a little bit of a, uh shield on him there for a second. And there comes the AoE attack. Giant damage. So make sure you're staying out of the way of that. Alright, powder workers. Oh, we barely got that one. We barely got that one. Oh my gosh. Whew, that was so close. Alright, so now we're going to go right back to DPSing. Make sure our guys aren't dying. So close. I'm gonna go on ahead and because I know that, yep, yeah, I knew that they were gonna come and start heading down here sooner. Uh, 
Oh, looks like we got the egg was damaged too much. Yeah. Oh well, so we didn't do the challenge, but looks like we still uh, are still going to be able to beat this. I think that was the last wave of uh, people. And oh gosh. It's okay, buddy. You're staying healed. You're staying healed. Alright. So, looks like we got him down. And he's dead. Alright. So, we weren't able to do the challenge, but that's okay. And here comes Gwai here, the great eagle. And he says, thank you for keeping safe this egg. I am in your debt. And there's a chest right over there. And you can loot it. And I got some pretty cool stuff. Well, let's see here. Alright. So, I gotta give you guys another riddle. And uh, the riddle is... No, uh, let's see here. The riddle is... All about, but cannot be seen, can be captured, cannot be held, no throat, but can be heard. And I will give you guys the answer in my next videos. And I hope this was educational to you all, and I will see you guys next time. This is Burning Stone, signing out.